Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today we're doing an Arduino program for an automated traffic light. Welcome back, everybody. First of all, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates like this Arduino tutorial. Now, today we're doing something that a lot of you have started to ask for these type of projects, and that is a little bit of uh, light animation with your scenes that are in your railroad. And we're going to start off with an Arduino program for a automated traffic light. And it's very, very simple. If you follow along with some of my other sketches, this is gonna be a pretty basic sketch. And if you haven't, this is a great place to start and learn some Arduino basics. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna need for this tutorial is an Arduino of some kind. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using an Arduino Uno. But if you want, you can use a Nano for this or a Mega for this. It really doesn't matter too much which Arduino you want to use. You're also going to need six LEDs in total, two red, two yellow, and two green. And then you're going to need a whole lot of DuPont connector wires, as with most of my tutorials, just for the prototyping. The last thing you're going to need, of course, is a breadboard to put this whole thing together. So let's go ahead and get started with the prototype build. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be arranging the LEDs into the way that they're going to be sharing their common positive. That's right, this is a common anode setup, which is what you see most commonly in street lights, signals, anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and wire these up to where the common anode is sharing a row on the breadboard. Again, if you work better with schematics or something like that, I'll have a schematic link in the description below. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to hook our five volts up to the power column on this side. This is so we can share the five volts between all six LEDs. Now we're going to go ahead and hook our jumpers up to our common anode or common positive from the power column and we're going to be doing this for each of the signal setup. Now we're going to begin hooking up our lights themselves. We're going to start off with the green light. We're going to be hooking signal number one into digital pin two. We're then going to hook up the yellow light into digital pin three for signal number one. And we're going to hook up the red light into digital pin four for signal one. Remember, you're hooking into the cathode end or the negative end, which is the short end on the LED. Now we're gonna hook up signal number two, which the green is going to go into digital pin five. We're then gonna take the yellow and we're gonna hook it on in to a digital pin six. And finally, we're going to hook in the red for signal number two into digital pin number seven. And that's pretty much it guys. That's the entire setup. It's pretty simple compared to some of my other projects. Let's go ahead and hop into the Arduino IDE and do some programming. All right, everyone, we're in our Arduino IDE, and uh, this is a relatively simple sketch if you followed some of my sketches before, and we're gonna go ahead and get started with it. Uh, basically, we're just doing a timer here, so it's really, really simple. So what we're gonna start off with is we need to declare our integers. So we're gonna do int green one equals two. We're gonna be using, let's see here, digital pin two is our green light one, the yellow one equals three, and that means, not dog, <laughs> digital pin three is our yellow light one. I'm gonna do int red one equals four, That's gonna mean 
digital pin four is our red light one. Then we'll do int green two equals five. And that means digital pin five is our green light two. T yellow two equals six, which of course, you probably guess it by now. Digital pin six is our yellow light two. INT red two equals seven. Means that digital pin seven is our red light two. Okay, so that's all of the integers we have to declare. So we can go ahead and hop into the void setup. So let's go ahead and we have to declare all of these as pin mode since they're all digital. So we're gonna do pin mode, green one is an output. Then we're gonna do pin mode, yellow one is an output. Red one as an output. We'll do now. We got to do the second signal. Sets up pin five as output and we'll do pin mode oh i messed up there you do green two as setting up pin five now we'll do yellow two as an output and we'll do a red two as an output. And that sets up pin seven as an output. And guess what? That's everything we need to do in the setup. So we can go ahead and hop into the loop. Now, since street lights are typically automatically timed, traffic signals that is, um, we don't really have to worry about sensors or anything like that. So really what we're doing is we're just programming the lights that you're going to be using. And what this is based off of is based off of three lights and what it's going to be is they are going to be sharing a common anode and they will be wired up very similar to the way we did our block signal they're just going to be on a timer so we're going to set up that timer now so let's go ahead and do a void loop and we'll start off with digital right green one equals low, digital right, yellow one, high, we need to say right there, green light one is on. Digital right, Red one is high. Now we need to do digital right. Green two is high. Remember, this is the signal for the crossing of uh, the number one signal, so. Yellow two is high. Remember, this one needs to be stopped, so we'll do digital, right, red two is low. Red one 
red light two is on. Okay, so what we have there is we have the number one signal showing green and the number two signal showing red, which means that one direction is showing green and the direction that crosses it is showing red. So now we need to figure out how long we wanna make this. And remember that the Arduino measures time in milliseconds. So 1000 is going to equal one second. So we're going to do delay. And just for demonstration's sake, you can have it longer or shorter than this. I'm going to do 10 seconds, which means we need to do 10,000 milliseconds. And I'll go ahead and say of 10 seconds right there. So that's our first thing. And what I'm gonna to do to save time here, and this is one of the things I really do love about these programs and these repetition and this uh, animation is we're just gonna copy paste and we're gonna make a few changes. So let's go ahead and this needs to be turning yellow because it's getting ready to change. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off green one. And we're gonna turn on yellow one. So we're going to go ahead and say yellow light one is on. And we're going to make that delay only three seconds. So put that as a delay of 3000 right there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and copy. And now we need to switch them both to being red. And I'll tell you why in a minute. And I just realized I need to do a slight formatting thing right back up here. I forgot to put my two slashes, so we're going to do that. And that'll, that just keeps it from being interfering with the program. So now we need to switch red one to low. And we're going to make this a delay of 1000, which as you know, is one second. Okay, so the reason we're doing that is that if you ever notice in signals, most of the time the signal doesn't immediately go red-green. Like they don't switch simultaneously. There's usually a small pause and then it goes green. So this is our small, we're gonna just do a one second pause. All right, so now we're just gonna copy all of this. And we're gonna paste it right here. So we can leave the number one signal alone because it's going to be red this entire time. So all we need to do is turn off the red light and turn on the green light. So there's green light two is on and we're going to bring our delay back up to 10,000 milliseconds or 10 seconds. And like I said, you can do any sort of delay. Just remember that 1000 equals one second. So this is 10,000, which means 10 seconds because the Arduino measures in milliseconds. So that is number two signal on. And we can leave, now we're gonna do the yellow portion. So we can leave, we need to turn the number two green light off. We need to turn the yellow light on. We can delete that and we can do yellow light two is on. And then we'll make that a delay of three seconds. And here's the really cool thing about this. Since we're going to a red red, we already have a red red. So we just need to scroll back up to it and we need to find it really quick. Red, red, red light one is on, red light two is on. So we can just copy all of that. Start a new line, boom. And that is the entire program. So let's go ahead and check it. And there we go, guys. As slight 
grammar error right here. It took me a minute to find. I actually misspelled the void setup right there. Um, but there we go. Let's go ahead and load it up into the Arduino. And there we go. All right, let's go ahead and test this thing out. I'm gonna use USB power. If you are using 12 volts, you might wanna consider putting resistors on your common anode. And look there, so now we have one green and one red. And now we see it cycles to yellow, and then red, and the next light cycles over to green. then yellow and red. It works. So that's how you program an Arduino for an automated traffic light on your railroad. And that's how you do some of the basic wiring. Now, personally, I'm going to actually try and build an in-scale street light from scratch. I have to figure out a few more things to actually do the fabrication, but if it works, it should be a pretty cool little project. And I'm hoping to have that later on sometime. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates, including if I manage to get that fabricated in scale street light. I'd also love to hear how you guys handle your street lights, your animation of your scenes, all sorts of stuff like that. Link that in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading.